Hello guys, in today's tutorial, I'm going to be breaking down this edit from Vox YouTube video, how AI tells Israel who to bomb. So the edit looks kind of simple to do, but it's quite tricky. And I'll also be introducing you to a free tool, you might know about it though, or a free tool that will help you speed up your After Effects edit. So let's get into it. And before we start, I decided to put a face to the channel so that you see what I look like and if my the video quality is bad because I'm using my phone to to do this and also the audio is kind of bad I'm using a fine microphone um, I am on a budget and occasionally you might hear some background noises I live kind of close to the road so you should not worry about that all we need to do is focus on the tutorial so let's start so instead of after effects first we'll create a new composition 1920 by 1080 then we are going to add a new layer a solid layer then i'll just take the color picker to select the color of our background here then also go into the color and make it a bit lighter so it's a bit different from the background i think this is okay and make sure you copy the color code because we're going to be using this just copy this to your clipboard and click okay and now we have this this is okay so the next thing we need to do is draw the fixed boss so i'll go to my selection to my rectangle to here i'll be picking the rounded rectangle to then make sure the stroke is turned off and bring up the fill we're going to change the color later so i'll just hold down ctrl shift press it down then draw this from the middle to drag perfect angle like this i think this size is okay and i'll just move it to the right a bit so to change the color of this box first i have a screenshot of vox video i'm going to be using to pick the color out so just click on your shift to here go down to the fill and use the color picker to pick your color and this is okay so we are done with that i'll just remove it from here next we're going to go to our text tool click on it then type in gospel I'm just going to center this and change the color so i'm just going to change the font to poppins it's my most favorite font then i'll change the color here so remember we took a screenshot of of the color code so change it to that or the so it looks like the background then next i'm going to duplicate this box here bring it on top then move it to this side here move it here then now you change it from solid to stroke only so i'll just call this gospel outline rename this outline so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to add this icon here this icon this document icon that i created in adobe illustrator then i'm just going to convert this or create shapes from the vector layer then delete the adobe in. then i'm going to scale this down to around 11 then reposition it here like this next thing then the next thing you need to do is to repeat this document here so instead of repeating each layer or using motion tie or cc repetite there's this free tool from plugging everything that's really great for repeating a particular document or an object the name of the tool is repeater and it's really easy to use so what we're going to do next is i'm going to uncheck mirror copies uncheck that then select put and reverse direction for x and y like this then make leave the x copy as one then make the y copy around seven leaving here it then uncheck uniform uniform padding then make the y padding around let's say 800 and the and the x 160 and we have this then go down to the row offset leave it leave the row as zero then change the column to around 900 and now we have this so to animate this i'll at the beginning of my timeline i'll bring up my position parameter select the keyframe then go let's say maybe 10 seconds bring this down like this not too fast though then at the beginning of our timeline yeah for our first keyframe, you just take it outside the box so once you're satisfied with your animation the next thing we need to do is i'm just going to select this then pre-compose it then select your rectangle tool this time we draw in the max and not a shape layer so from the middle here let's just eyeball this one then draw a max like this and this should be okay so let's preview this way to see so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate this outline here 
then bring it above this then bring up the position then for the y y parameter i'm just going to do times three so that it automatically uh, multiplies this this thing by three so it's perfectly aligned the next thing we're going to do is that i'm going to add this four edges here and to do this it's really simple to do you can maybe use your pen to to maybe draw your shape like this but it's i don't want to use that method i was playing around in after effect and i found a nice little method that you can do that you can do so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my rectangle to then make the stroke size 10 ps then just hold down control shift then draw this out like this then go down to your content rectangle then your stroke and add a dash click on this plus icon two times then make the dash 83 and the gap around 368 or let's just make it 370 like this then use the offset like move it so until you get the right angle you see what i did there and perfect and i'll just make this around but now to duplicate this instead of using repeater or any other stuff i'm just going to use another effect that you might not know about the mirror effect really simple to use just use the reflection center point it at the top here like this and you see we have a perfect side then repeat this again duplicate your mirror then this time the center should be in the middle then make this here minus 90 degrees next we'll move on to the straight line from here to this place so to do this i'm just i'm going to use my pen tool for this and i'm going to bring my proportional grid to have a straight line so i'm just going to draw it here then move it later so i'm just going to then reduce the size back to two i'm going to turn this off and bring up the position and slide this to the right so go down to your shape content and duplicate shape one and in shape one click on your anchor point two here then look for the anchor points from here then move it down to the middle here then go down to the transform to click on this drop down here then there's a transfer to specifically for the shape and make the rotation 90 degrees and you see we have that like that and so click off this next thing i'm going to do i'm going to add a new shape here use your pen tool and just going to do a small shape from here to here I hope this is straight and this is okay i'm going to add the repeater then uncheck mirror copy then check x remove make this zero then make y 14 then make the padding around five and maybe reduce the padding a bit to 4.5 and this looks great already so the next thing i'm going to do is pre-comb this first then duplicate it bring the anchor point to the middle so I'm just going to select this, make sure the anchor point is in the middle, then 90 degrees and that is cool. So next I'm going to select both of them, both of the show players again and pre-compose pre them again. Then go down to the shape. So you're going to max out this middle. So just hold down control shift and from the middle here, draw it out like this, like this is okay. Then invert this. Then finally for this particular layer here i'm just going to go down to my ellipse tool then right at the middle here i'm going to draw a small circle so hold down Control shift again then draw it like this so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to first i'm going to bring up this proportional grid here then parent my text to the box then move it to the right a bit then i'm going to draw a shape around my box I'm going to bring up my rectangle to here so it's going to be stroke no fear i'll make this around let me draw it first and see how, how many what the size will be so from the middle here hold down ctrl shift again then draw it out so the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to add an open opacity to this so press t then hold alt and click on this icon here to bring up the expression panel then i'm going to paste an expression here so that so this expression here so this expression will just randomly generate opacity for this layer here just between 0 to 15 i'm just i'm going to reduce this to maybe 5 and make the frequency a bit higher and we have this random opacity generating like this so i'm going to duplicate this go down to the opacity again then change some of the values i'm going to make this one 
then increase this to six then finally for this second opacity here i'm going to draw a max around it make sure it's a max I'm just going to crop it out so when i play back the both videos you see why i'm doing this so i'm just going to do it like this Draw max here then i'm going to turn off the second layer to see what we have so now we have to invert this so only this part is showing then under the max again i'm going to add a feather just going to increase the feather like this and then for some final touches to this for almost the final thing here i'm going to draw a line animating to this place and that is really simple to do so i'm just going to click on my pen tool here i'm just going to add the trim parts to this this is not quite perfect but we'll work with this i'm just going to click down here then add trim parts yeah, at the beginning of our timeline here i'm just going to click on on this keyframe icon here then move it forward a bit maybe one second then bring this down to zero and now we have this little animation here copy this entry parts from here then go down to our shape here then make sure your timeline is at the beginning then paste that and now we have this I'm going to pre-comp the both of them below our box so it's not visible from here then I'll also add a uh, max to it so that it's not showing here I'm just going to draw a max from here like this then invert this so I'll just play this back so that's nice so i think this is basically everything so if for any other stuff maybe you want to add these lines here and this grid you can do that you can add the grid by just drawing a bunch of lines and duplicating them and like that we have a nice animation and i'm going to drop the link to the project file in on my patreon so you can go there to see this full animation that i've made here this full animation that you can see here so if you want to support me go down to my patreon and download it and you can still do this yourself if you just follow the method i showed you and thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe thank you